Hi there, this is Sophia from sophiaoja.com. I would like to show you how you can change the colors of your links within your emails on ConvertKit. All right, so I am jumping into my ConvertKit account here and you can see I've drafted a little email and I would like this bit to have a link. I insert a link and I am directing traffic to that link in my emails. Well, when I look at it, this is what I see. The link and the text is all in blue. But I want to change that. I want it to reflect the color of my uh, links on my website, which is teal green. So the first step to do that is you would go into your template. And this is assuming that you've already created a custom template. If you have not, there will be another tutorial where you could set that up. But this is for those of you who already have a custom template and are just tweaking it for the link. So I have one here. And what I'm going to do is put a piece of code right within the style section here. Okay? So this is the piece of code that I need. I'm highlighting it here for you to be able to see it clearly. And this bit over here is the hex code and that's the teal green color that I want in my emails. So this is the code that you, you paste here and you can grab it from my blog post. I'll show you where to get that code. Or you can just pause this video and, and copy it uh, as you look at it. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to hop on over to my email and voila, this is how it looks. Now you have to make sure that within your settings of that sequence, this is my sequence email, you have selected that particular template. This is my template with the teal green link. So make sure that it's activated. And every time you add a link, it is automatically going to change to that particular color. Okay, so let's say I'm going to add it to another link. And let's see what it looks like. Boom, it's already giving it that color. So as long as you have selected that template within settings, you don't have to go back and worry about making it, it uh, a different. All right, it's not going to show up here in your draft mode, but it will show up in your browser when you click browser. You can always do test as well. Send yourself a test email. All right, so that's one thing. Now, what if you wanted to have your text to be a certain color and your link, the underlining, to be a different color? Okay, so let's say I would like to have a mango orange color a very beautiful color reminds me of mangoes when I was growing up in India so let's say this bright happy color here okay insert and hit save and you'll see in the browser how it is looking different the text color is the mango orange but the underlining is teal green so for whatever reason you wanted to have two different colors, you can do that as well. But you would use a combination of changing the color in your custom template and then coming back over here under font color and picking a color of your choice. So both are possible. But hey, third scenario, you don't want these underlinings at all. You don't want them to show up. What to do then? Well, it's, that's very easy. You just go back into your custom email. And here you see text decoration, underline. It's basically telling the app that you want the link to be underlined. So if you don't want it underlined, you just write in none. That will take away the text decoration underlining. Just save that. Come back to your email and voila it has gone. So the underlining has gone. It's still a link as you had wanted it to be, 
but it has um, no underlining. And again, remember we have two different colors because here we set the color from within the custom template and this mango we selected from over here. So that way you can have two links with two different colors within your email as well. So I hope that this was helpful. If you want to grab the code, you can go straight to my blog, which is sophiaoja.com. You click blog and find the post that says how to change colors of your links within ConvertKit. You scroll down and here in step two, you will see the code for you right here. And of course, you would have to change this bit here to represent the color that matches your brand. Pick the color of your links on your website. That's a really nice continuity and you can take it from there. If you have any questions, go down over into comments and let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks a lot. All the best. Bye.